And so that's the situation. I caught Lizzie being very Edmund-like towards Louise about going to Narnia, calling her a liar and such. And you think sending her to Narnia might get her to change her attitude? Yes. I hope so. I'm aware that Edmund didn't change his attitude straight away, but right now, it's my only hope of redeeming my daughter. I will not go into a stupid fictional world. You cannot make me go. Excuse me, Missy. You have been a very naughty girl, and I am not putting up with it. In fact you are still being naughty, having this temper tantrum. Stop it. No I won't stop it, and you can't make me. Alright Lizzie, that's enough of that. You are going to Narnia. You are going now, and you will stay there until you change your attitude. Let's hope she learns her lesson. I understand a spoilt little brat from the Pigau 20 neighborhood is being sent here as punishment for her very Edmund-like attitude towards another child. Yes, she should be arriving any moment. No. I refuse to go. My goodness what a fuss you're making. Stand up. Now. I refuse to go any further than this. Well, you have no choice in the matter. So stop this tantrum and get used to it. Why should I? What on earth is this place? This is Narnia. The country you refuse to believe another child about. Oh grow up. You came to greet me upon my entry into this unknown forest far away. I demand you send me home at once, first of all. Keep your voice down. The White Witch has spies everywhere. And second. You're not leaving until you change your attitude, and that's that. So we'd better know who you are. What's it got to do with you? Because you'll be staying with us while you're here so we can keep an eye on you. So, what's your name? Not that it's any of your business, but my name's Lizzie. Ah good. You've come to meet our guest. Hello Lizzie. I'm Peter, and these are my sisters Susan and Lucy. Great. I have to stay with a bunch of lunatics. We're not lunatics. We're the heroes this country needs. Our brother however has gone off with the White Witch. So you will be remaining under our watch for lies. I don't want to be here. As you were just told. You don't have a choice, so stop this whining and come with us. How long am I gonna be here? Hard to say. Could be years, but when you go back through the barrier, you'll be a kid again. Narnia time is very different to that of Earth time. So Lizzie, I'm interested to know why you were sent to Narnia. Believe it or not, Edmund. I was sent here because I refused to believe another child that she and three others had been here before. Is this true, look? Yes, Ed. I'm afraid it is. When she first arrived, she refused to come with us and tell us her name. At first. I must say Lizzie, you have matured a great deal since you first arrived. And we are very proud to call you our friend. I think you're just about ready to go home to England. I like it here in Narnia. I've come to appreciate the fact that other worlds exist beyond my own. You don't want to go, do you? No, I don't. I want to stay. Very well then, but we warn you. It's about to get dangerous. Well friends. I mean your majesties. This is it. I must be going now. Thanks for everything. Take care of yourself, Lizzie. Remember what you've learned. We'll miss you. It has been a pleasure having you here. Oh come here. We'll see you again soon. I know we will, by then. Lizzie should be arriving any moment. Mum. 
Hello Lizzie. Welcome home. I missed you. You've only been gone for about an hour and a half, but I missed you all the same.